Okay, we're asked to find the quotient using long division, and um, I want to stress the point that you have to use long division here because you have a binomial in the denominator. Um, or you can think, well, I have something being added or subtracted in the denominator. If this was written with just an x in the denominator, if that was the only thing down there, then you could simply rewrite this polynomial with each term over an x. So I could say 2x to the third over x plus 3x squared over x minus 30x over x plus 7 over x. And you could clean up each of these terms. But because you have addition or subtraction in the denominator, you can't just break it up and clean it up. You have to use long division here. It looks strange, but this is patterned after long division that you should be familiar with. So we'll start right about here. 2x to the third plus 3x squared minus 30x plus 7. And this is all going to be divided by x minus 3. Okay, when you're doing long division, you focus on the first term and the first term, and you just say how many times does x go into 2x to the third? It goes in 2x squared times. So I'm going to line it up over my like terms. 2x squared. Okay, and just as you do with regular long division, I multiply this times this. Alright, so 2x squared times x minus 3, 2x to the third. I'm distributing 2x squared to each term here, minus 6x squared. OK. Now we're going to subtract this just like the long division you're accustomed to. But you do this probably so subconsciously you don't think about it. Not only do you change the sign of that? But now you have two terms. So you have to change the sign of each term. OK? Um, when we do that, of course, the first term, this becomes 0, which is always my goal. So I don't have to write it. If I have positive 3x squared, positive 6x squared, when I combine those, I get 9x squared. And then, just like the long division you're accustomed to, you bring down the next term. So I have minus 30x. We focus again on the first term here. So you look at the first term and the first term. How many times does x go into 9x squared? It goes in 9x times. Okay. So I'm going to say 9x times x minus 3, and when I distribute 9x to each term, I get 9x, oh, better slide it up, 9x squared, and when I distribute 9x to negative 3, I get negative 27x. And again, we're going to subtract these, but we're subtracting each term, which means I have to change the sign of each term. Okay? Um, now we See what's left? That becomes 0. We don't have to write it. We're left with negative 3x here. And just as in long division, you bring down your next term. All right, I'm going to slide this up a little more. So this is plus 7. And again, you focus on just the first term. So I'm looking at my x here and my negative 3x there. x goes into negative 3x negative 3 times. Okay, so then I say negative 3 times x minus 3, and that yields, distribute this negative 3 to each term, negative 3x plus 9. Okay, and again you 
have to subtract this binomial, so that means you have to change each sign. Okay? And the result here is negative 3x, positive 3x, that's a 0. Uh, positive 7, negative 9 leaves us with a negative 2. So the way we write, this is a remainder, okay? So this is minus 2 over x minus 3. Okay, so make sure this is in view. This is our answer up here. And if you multiply x minus 3 times this, you will get the numerator.